Hey guys, just following up with a little bit of my Chevy buyback experience. Got some new stuff. I'm going to try to test out some podcasts, see if I can get something going just to entertain myself for my newest indulgence. My new hyper fixation is podcast. So I figured I'd try this out and tell you what happened with my Chevy Bolt. Super, super impressed with Chevy and what they did. Um, I had issues. If you want to look at the issues there in the last video, I won't go into too many things, but they shit the bed in my opinion with the mileage. So, um, they worked with me to get it back. Um, they went, I, I called them in the end of February and, um, actually it was probably January. I called them in the end of January expecting to hear something back and nothing. I think somebody dropped the ball, called him again in the end of February, waited a month because I was told it was going to take uh, a little while for anybody to call me out back and kind of just be patient. So I called them back uh, about a month later, uh, the end of February, and said, hey, just wanted to follow up, blah, blah, blah. And they said, we don't have your file. Um, we, we know that you called, but nothing was started. So let me get that started for you um, in the end of February. And then I got my first email March 10th. So March 10th, uh, I got an email basically saying, hey, thanks for talking to me today because uh, I think I spoke to somebody and I don't have my call logs anymore. I make so many damn phone calls. So uh, I spoke to somebody earlier that day and they said, here's what you're going to need. We're going to need like pictures of your car, the front, the back, the sides, uh, inside, outside. Uh, we'll determine a value on it sort of thing and uh, we'll get you going. So March 10th, um, I sent uh, everything in that I needed. Uh, they needed your picture of your driver's license, lien holder, insurance, all the stupid legal stuff. So called them, or I'm sorry, emailed them back on March 10th. Didn't hear anything until about April 15th-ish. So a month. So I think it's one person that works uh, regions or and then escalates or whatever. So worked with her, told her that I had a broken window. So she didn't give me an offer. I was anticipating an offer that day and kind of got a little pissed um, because the safety recall was for the battery. And so I'm charging it every night. Battery's issue could be a fire hazard. And I said, well, what about the issue about the fire instead of a, just a windshield? They said, dude, I'm just doing my job. So I fixed my windshield. Uh, it was 860 bucks. Ridiculous price for a windshield. Uh, they had a national shortage from so-and-so I had to go to a big company. I tried to do small stuff, small local stuff, but I had to go to a safe light. They had it within two days. Uh, we installed it, got the pictures to them. And then with her, I was working with phone call and email. So I emailed the pictures back to it, uh, the replaced windshield with the receipt, um, picture of the front, the back, the sides, the seats inside again, just to make sure that the, uh, value uh, has not changed or the um, or quality of the car basically so um, within that month it was not bad in a month we just sent it out uh, and then within a half an hour she called me or had an email back to me and basically said here's what we're doing so we're we're you bought the car for this minus your dealer incentives and so I bought it basically like twenty nine thousand five hundred dollars out the door with tax, title, registration, all that fun stuff. Um, and then they gave me $26,444 or something like that. So they gave me $2,200 less than what I bought the car for, which in my opinion was super, super fair considering uh, car market right now is crazy. Uh, I tried to sell it online. I didn't really care. I'm not going to have everybody going to my house. So I, I, I bumped it up a little bit uh, more than Chevy was offering me. They said, we're going to give you an offer. You got seven days, take it or leave it. Uh, and this is your offer. We're not going to offer it again. So um, I took it and took it back to the dealer, uh, Doug Smith in Spanish Fork, Utah. Uh, they worked really good with me. They're the ones that kind of steered me down this direction of kind of what to do because of the mileage and the safety hazard and the charging and things like that. So they helped me get in contact, get that. So basically from the end of January to about April 15th, I had a buyback. Super impressed. Thank you, Chevy. 
they did great by me. I'll buy another Chevy product in the future. Um, rocking a Tesla right now. I super enjoyed that. I, I enjoyed the Chevy. I mean, it was a cute little zippy car. I could get in any parking space, but um, just the mileage. We'll figure out the batteries. It looks like everybody's getting better. So um, just wanted to give everybody an update. If you have questions on, maybe I can um, help with information. I don't know. Give me, shoot me a text or put the comment down below and all that stuff. And I just wanted to uh, thank you for coming and you guys have a good night.